Welcome to an example of a definite integral that requires integration by parts. The integration by parts formula is given here with a given integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So the integral of u dv is a given integral which is usually a product where part of the integrand is going to be equal to u. Once we identify u, we'll differentiate to find differential u. The remaining part of the integrand will be dv. Once we identify dv, we'll integrate to find v. And the idea is when applying the integration by parts formula, the integral of v du will be easier to integrate than the integral of u dv. It can't be difficult to keep track of the limits of integration when performing integration by parts, so we'll first find the indefinite integral and then use that result to evaluate the definite integral. And normally when the integrand contains the natural log function, we want to start by letting u equal natural log x. So if u is equal to natural log x, then differential u would be one divided by x dx which means dv must be 2x squared dx. Again, we could factor out this two, but when applying integration by parts, it would be more difficult to keep track of that constant. So we'll go ahead and let dv equal 2x squared dx, which means we'll now integrate to find v. So we'd add one to the exponent, that'd be x to the third divided by three, so we'd have two-thirds x cubed for v. So again, we'll first find the indefinite integral. Which would be u times v minus the integral of v du. So u times v would be two-thirds x cubed natural log x. Then we'd have minus the integral of v du, that would be two-thirds x cubed times one over x dx. So let's factor out the two-thirds, then we have x to the third times one over x dx. Let's simplify this product here, that would just be x squared. So we have two-thirds x cubed natural log x minus two-thirds times integral of x squared. So the antiderivative would be two-thirds x cubed natural log x. Then we'd have minus two-thirds times x cubed divided by three plus c. So this would be two-thirds x cubed natural log x minus, this would be two-ninths x cubed plus c. So now we can use the antiderivative to evaluate the definite integral. The definite integral from one to e of two x squared natural log x dx will be equal to the antiderivative evaluated at the upper and lower limits of integration. Remember when performing definite integration, we can leave off the constant of integration because it would simplify out to zero. Let's go and evaluate this on the next slide. So first x is equal to e, so we'd have two-thirds e to the third natural log e minus two-ninths e to the third. And now we'll substitute one for x, so we'll have two-thirds times one cubed natural log one minus two-ninths times one cubed. Natural log e is equal to one, and natural log one is equal to zero, so all this is zero. Looking at these two terms here, they are like terms, because they both have e cubed. So if we obtain a common denominator of nine, since six ninths minus two ninths would be four ninths, we would have four ninths e to the third, and then here we'd have minus, this would be negative two-ninths, so plus two-ninths. This would be the exact value of the definite integral, or the decimal approximation would be approximately 
14913. I hope you found this explanation helpful.